Y'all, I didn't even finish putting my wig on. It's a Christmas parade. This whole time, I thought it was something serious. All right, let me show ya. Is it a Christmas parade? Hold up. I don't see no Santa Claus. <laughs> uh... Okay, this is super awkward. <laughs> I guess it's not. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, let me finish fixing my wig. I thought it was a Christmas parade, but these sirens have been going off for like a good hour now. So, all right, I gotta finish laying this. See, and there's more. I'm over it. I don't wanna see any more. You know, made me mad. So this is a look. It's the hair I just snatched. My melanin top and my pants with my black tims. So okay, this wig is looking better than the last time I put it on. I didn't like the. I didn't like the little this long piece, but now it looks cute. I just feel like this is gonna get in my way and I hate that like when I eat I hate when like my hair gets in the way but this is cute I like it I feel like I want to wear hoops I feel like hoops will go with the look but then again I don't want to do too much but I'm gonna try out the hoops and see all right hoops it is guys so final look yes yes I feel cute and I smell like fruit um I'm actually feeling this wig, okay. And I feel like I could dance in this wig. Cause yesterday I wore the other wig, if you saw my wig reviews, I wore the Bobby Boss wig with the um, bangs. And yesterday when I walked out, like the wind started blowing and the bangs are so like far back. Where like you could see my forehead, you could see the wig cap. So I'm like, oh my gosh. That's what I was planning on using for the Christmas Eve service when I danced. And I'm like, this wig is not secured. It doesn't have any combs. So I think I'm gonna go with this. It's more secured. It ain't going nowhere. It's not gonna fall all over my face, so. Y'all, we gotta get going, cause it's 12.30 to be there by one. And I don't always wanna be late. I feel like I'm always the late one, so. And also my mom's um, gift came. She dropped it off this morning, so. Already wrapped it up nice for her. And I know she's gonna look like, who's this gift for? And it's gonna be for her, and she's gonna be like, oh my gosh, my daughter's amazing. I'll be like, yeah, I know. So. Oh, I feel so cute. Yes. Okay, I gotta go. I need to stop talking. It's cold. I don't want to wear my, like, really, really long jacket. But then it's mad windy today. So I feel like I should and be safe. Uh, safe and warm. So, ooh, can't forget to take this, the gift. And, yeah, guys, I will see you guys either when I get there, either when I'm driving, or either after. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna let y'all know, okay? Okay. Sorry, a college night or something. We can't hear you. If I miss you to eat Z Lounge, they have. Oh, well, that's what I meant. Sorry. Hey, y'all. So, the brunch. It's four o'clock right now, but the brunch is over. It was fun. Like, I like. I liked it a lot. It wasn't what I was expecting. When they said young adult, for some reason I thought it was going to be some little kids. Like, I didn't, I don't know. I can't read because I was walking a lot, guys. So it's kind of hard for me to talk right now. But yeah, I didn't think it would be a lot of people my age. Um, but everyone was like my age and a little older. Basically, the ages ranged from like 23 to 31. So I was like, okay, yeah, my age group. So it was a lot of fun. Like I met a lot of cool people. Um, everyone was just cool. It was good vibes. The only annoying part was, um, oh, the food was good. I got this, um, whew, I can't breathe. Um, it was like shredded beef with rice and plantains. So that was really good. I showed you on the video. Um, what else? Yeah, the only annoying part was when it came to the bill. So everyone um, was supposed to pay for themselves. And the waiter didn't split the bill. So we all tried to, like, you know, calculate what we got and stuff. And so 
somehow, even though I put down exactly what I got, I put my card number, the waiter charged me for someone else's meal. And so my meal was, was still left like unaccounted for. So I'm like, yo, so the person who I like accidentally paid for his meal, he gave me $20 back. But I just like paid like for whatever my meal was. Like I gave that 20 back to the waiter. So yeah, so then my mom had called me while I was eating and she was just like, oh, Ruby. She's like, I'm hungry. Can you get me some Popeyes, a spicy hot wing? So I'm like, oh, mommy, really? Really? <laughs> so <laughs> I, after the um, brunch, I went to Popeyes. And so that was a really, really long walk in the cold. So I just now got into the parking deck in my car. So I'm about to head home. And yeah. And I think she opened her gift because I told her that her gift was um, there. So yeah, I'm about to head home. And I'll talk to y'all later. So I also forgot to show you guys what I won real quick because we're kind of moving. I won this. Elizabeth Arden Red Door um, like gift set case and I actually like it I have some at home um, so it's just like a mini perfume set with um, the lotion and then the shower gel so yeah I was happy originally I won this um, Netflix gift card $20 Netflix gift card and um, this whole like movie like movie set it had like peanut m&ms regular m&ms and like these fancy popcorns where someone stole it from me so yeah i got to pick again and then i ended up picking that elizabeth arden and yeah those are some really good gifts some people are good at picking gifts someone gave a essential oil mist thing that was really cool um someone else gave that um i don't know if you guys have seen it but it's like a himalayan salt rock thing um and it's supposed to like purify the air and stuff um, what else? Someone gave a Visa gift card. Um, there was an Apple gift card. I think $20 or $15 Apple gift card. Um, you guys know I gave the Bluetooth earbuds and the power bank. Um, and it's funny because the person who I ended up, um, getting that, the, the Red Door gift set from, she's the one who ended up with my earbud set. Um, because someone had stolen the gift that she had so it was kind of funny like she really liked what she got I really like what I got so we switched off so yeah and I took down her number I'm just I'm happy um, mainly because I told myself that one of my goals for this year because every year I try to set a goal for myself one of my main goals for this year was to make more friends I wanted to make more friends and it's because I'm someone who's very shy um, y'all might not know because you see me talk on YouTube all the time, but I usually tell anyone who says that they're too scared to do YouTube, I usually tell them that YouTube is basically like you're talking to yourself. Because <laughs> I know like you guys are there, but you guys are there after I post it. So right now I'm really just talking to myself. So like, yeah, I'm a really shy person. It's always been kind of hard for me to make friends. Like I always say the friends that I do have or well, that I did have, it's usually them who talk to me first, and then they're like, oh, you're cool, but <laughs> I never ever go up to someone and say, yeah, let's be friends, let's talk, girl, hit me up, so I'm glad that the way that a lot of things happened this year, um, towards the end of the year, it kind of forced me to make new friends and put myself out there and talk to people and I'm glad that I came out to do this oh my gosh oh, I'm getting emotional guys oh my gosh but I'm proud of myself for actually coming out and doing this because if you asked me a year ago or even in the beginning of the year like oh yeah Ruby um the church is having a young adult thing go out there by yourself and go make some friends even though you don't really know anyone like that I would have said nope 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 I would have been scared or I would have brought, brought along um, my <laughs> my best friend who we're no longer friends so I'm just proud of myself I see progress in myself and I know 2019 is gonna get better I'm happy for new friendships that I made this this year and I'm happy with how God is setting everything up and I'm glad that the friends that I am making the people that I am being introduced to this year are the same mind they have the same mind as me we're like-minded people um, and I think that's what I was missing a lot um, in my life in general because a lot of the times I would get told by the people who were my friends like oh you're too boring you need to have fun 
And, you know, it was a lot of discouragement that I didn't notice (laughs) until recently, until now that I'm no longer friends with those people. So I'm glad to see a lot of like-minded people, people who I could be like, okay, let's pray, pray with me. And they won't see it as anything weird or people I could be like, oh, no, I don't do this. And they won't be like, oh, my gosh, you're no fun. But they'll respect it because, you know, yeah, so I'm going to stop talking. (laughs) Um, But, yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really proud of myself for doing this. And I can't wait to see what else what else happens. We're making plans for um, 2019 and what we want to do as a youth group. So, yeah, guys, I'll holler at you because I'm about to leave this parking deck. All right, guys, peace. Hey y'all, happy Sunday, what it do? (laughs) So, I'm about to wash my hair. So as you can see, this is what it's been looking like under the wigs. Hang time. So yeah, I gotta come wash it. Oh. Get the sun. So yeah, I'm about to wash it and then I'm gonna come back. Oh, peace. forgot to end the vlog (laughs) right now I'm watching two vlogs the toy is life and Marion's world so if you don't know any other Sierra Leonean youtubers Marion's world she's good so yeah guys that ends it for the vlog for today Be sure to check out my Christmas Eve and Christmas vlog coming, I'll say after Christmas, but yeah, I'm about to go to bed, well, about to finish these.